Peters. Here we are on Cajas Way, North Algonquin. And it's a beautiful day. It's a nice lake. Heading here for the night. And then we'll start the uh, big work in portages tomorrow, heading into Maple. So thanks for clicking on the video. Hope you enjoy. And we will catch you guys shortly. Joining you from our camp spot. So we found this beautiful place on the map. Just show you real quick. So there's these two sites. I'll put an arrow in the screen on the point that's really close to the portage. We're on the middle one and it has a really nice canoe landing. You have to go around the point and you can land your boat on this nice gravelly sandy beach. From here, the walk up. It's not too bad. So getting access to water won't be a big deal. Comes out to a beautiful view, somewhat easterly facing, or westerly facing, I should say, for a nice sunset with a beautiful fire pit, nice wood bench, nice chimney rock in the fire pit. Lots of great rocky outcrops to view on. Going back into the living area, we have some clothesline set up. Very nice. And then some great tent pad areas. Uh, we're choosing to use this area right here, which gets a nice cross breeze as well. And a decent view. Nice and tucked away. And I believe the um, thunder box is out back that way on this trail. And there's beautiful Kaios Lake. Not too shabby. Alright, got dinner cooking up here, a couple sausages, onions in the pan, gotta keep an eye on this, so it doesn't flare up too bad. I'm gonna put this on a bun and it's gonna be good. I'm gonna add some kefta in a minute. We got some kefta on now, it's gonna be a good meal. All right, repeaters, we're here in a nice evening paddle. It's a beautiful evening. Lake is calm in this little area. And uh, we're just enjoying the scenery. I'll take you guys along. Beautiful golden light coming in through the sunset. Show you a bit of a campsite here with our setup. Just got the tent tucked away right here with a beautiful view. In the evening, just about to start another fire to uh, Wind down the evening, keep the bugs off. Yeah, I 
coming in. Here's our view. Wait for sunset coming in. Pretty awesome. Well, good morning, repeaters. It's about uh, 7 15 a.m. And another beautiful day out here. We got the mist rising off the water down by our put in. So, gotta capture that. All the birds are out this morning chirping. The lake is calm today. Well, I'm just solo paddling here. Trying to get a better view of the mist coming off the water. It's a very easy boat to solo this prospector by H2O. I'm just on the kneeling fort here, pretty close to the middle. All the control you could ever want. Alright guys, first portage of the day into Maple Creek, one of six today. Little uh, muddy, a little boggy, but it'll be fun. Let's see what happens. Try not to get a shot. Hi repeaters, we're on Maple Creek and we landed at the Beaver Fortress that we have to carry over. I'm gonna get you to the shore there, Karen. Maple Creek Waterfall.
Whew. Well, repeaters, after six portages, including the hardest portage I've ever done, which is at 830 meter, basically uphill. We are on beautiful Maple Lake. We're blessed with a calm lake. We're gonna go grab a site. So I'll land for the night and we'll give you a tour of the site once we have landed. View from our beach, night two, Maple Lake. Site right here, up the stairs, not too bad. Can have picked up some scratches today, but to be expected. Overall, exhausting, but really good day. Uh, six portages took us eight hours to get from Kiosk to here. I'm gonna tuck in and go to bed. Good night, guys. All right, good morning, repeaters. Packed up, and now we're heading down to Arables Lake. We're still on Maple, and it's a beautiful, glassy morning. Nice loons out today. Another beautiful pile day. We had some rain overnight, but can't complain. So we'll get with you guys on a portage or something. We're heading to Big Thunder. Just making our way to the first portage into Arables Lake. It's really pretty. Hey Peters, I'm at the end of the portage into Big Thunder, looking at Big Thunder Lake where we're staying tonight. This one was a doozy. Take you along for a quick tour. Lots of ankle breakers in here. Thankfully not too much elevation, a few ups. Some interesting terrain. Heading this way from Big Plunder, you'd be going into Arables. There's definitely some rock gardens in here on this trail. Overall, well maintained though, you won't get lost. As you can see, a lot of cool boulders up in here. Thankfully, none block your trail too much. But you can see what I mean with the rock gardens. Lots of these to navigate. So most of the trails like this, but I'd give you a little preview. You only have like 1200 meters to go. Hey repeaters, well, we're here on Big Thunder and we've got the only site on the lake. So it's actually quite nice. 
with the exception of the uh, water access. You get a nice little narrow pathway down to the water, just enough to stick your boat in like that. Other than that though, beautiful red pine grove right here and nice and open and spacious. Good, really nice view of the lake here. Wonder what the sunset will be like. Take you over to our fire pit. And it's also got a really nice bench set up. Bit of a gear bomb behind us. We will be setting up our tent back here in a nice tent pad. Nice and breezy, keeps the bugs off. So here's our tent pad, really flat. And then there's a sign over to the Thunderbox. So it might be the only site on the lake, but it sure is a nice one. So we're gonna set up and enjoy the rest of the day. Dinner time. So we've got some water just boiling in the pot for pasta. We got a couple of amazing OTG meals, curry and coconut curry with chicken on the cooking here, just in the pouch. Another 10 minutes, they should be ready. We're gonna add the pasta in and enjoy a good meal. Uh, cut up some splits here, some good dry firewood. Got the clothesline out. Just drying the tent fly off a little bit from last night's rain. It's a beautiful evening. We're gonna eat dinner and go for a nice uh, evening paddle. And then we'll get with you guys a little bit later. And there's Karen soloing our beautiful H2O prospector on a nice lake in a nice evening. Well, good morning, repeaters. We are morning of day four here. Just woke up on Big Thunder campsite. Perfect portage weather, a little overcast, a little breezy, cool temps. And while we're packing up here, there's our tent pad. Just want to give you a preview of how we work our breakfast situation. So in the AeroPress, I brew my coffee and I put it in this hydro flask and Karen gets tea. And that way we can sip on it throughout the day and get a good chunk in the morning. And then for our water, we uh, use the Gravity Works filter by Platypus and put in some electrolytes and fill up our bottles before we go. So we're gonna continue packing up and we're gonna get going and we'll catch you guys on a portage or something. All right, repeaters, we are past the portage from Madison to Club in the creek. The rain kicked up, no big deal. That's just part of camping. But uh, this creek's kind of pretty. It is a little bit low water situation at the beginning. So you might have to get out and uh, push a bit, but it be okay. Looks like we got a lift over coming up here. Take you guys. Might be able to run through the creek here. Oh, there's a little bit of a drop through. Okay, push, paddle, paddle. Going down the chute. Woo! Good job, honey. I like that. That was fun. Gosh, this is a really pretty creek. I bet you there'd be a good chance to see some wildlife. So beautiful. Look at these like little rocks and stuff. Yeah, I love this. Oh, yeah. Trying to get around this rock so I can. Oops. You're on. 
lake in the creek and we're just passing the uh, old logging cabin. Got a portage there. I'll try and zoom in for you. It's kind of interesting. Wow, repeaters. Sorry, clean the lens. We were uh, paddling through Club Lake and Karen spotted this campsite. And I'm glad we uh, took the extra paddle on the push to get here. It's the last one. Close to the portage into Mink. And look what we have here. Looks to be the remains of some of the old logging camp. I showed you the other uh, standing logging remains close to the portage into Mink. Check out some of this really cool equipment. Looks to be like some kind of pump system. Really cool. We got our gear hanging out over here. Really beautiful site, big and open, elevated. Look at this awesome fire pit too. Literally they got bricks here supported by a cot frame or something. I don't know, really cool. Look at the uh, old artifacts of different pieces of pots. The remains of an old logging cart or something. The engine's there. Even got some of the old spokes in the wheel, or the hub anyways. Oh, there is a tire. Axle, really cool. And it's a big, beautiful site. Pine Grove, pine floor, great views. A little overcast today, we were raining down getting here, but we're gonna set up shop for our last night and just enjoy. So what a treat. Morning repeaters. Day five, seven thirty. We got a couple of families of loons here. Free groups. Yeah, they're way out. I think we can hear them. Club Lake is very weedy, so I'm sure it's got a lot of different fish. So loons must enjoy catching fish here. All right, repeaters. This is the portage from Club into Mink. And you get a cool view of this part of, I guess, a logging uh, structure used to be. The other side you saw from the water when I was paddling through, but it's kind of cool. It's 1100 meter portage into Mink. Had lots of rain last night, the sun's now coming out. So, going to get started, but just absolutely loving this H2O Prospector in an, the uh, Negra Basalt layup. All right guys, time to get going. We're on Mink Lake, just a bit of a headwind. Uh, it's a nice, beautiful lake, it's kind of long and narrow. Really nice sights on here. Haven't stayed on any, but the majority look really nice. We're approaching the north end to get the portage to the middle mink. And, uh, the headwind has taken us, I'd say, about 45 minutes. Peters, we're uh, heading back into some white caps here on Kiosk. We're not too far out from the access point, but hindered by these huge waves. Just gotta play it cool, stick to the shoreline, get the right angle, cutting through the waves here. 
just be safe. Really good trip. Saw lots of really nice 